For a challenge, I wanted to rebuild the old burned down police station in the middle of Louisville, but with ridiculously rare loot, the chance to find any nails in this zombie infested city was minimal. So I decided to turn to blacksmithing. But before a strong woman can become an expert smith and craft her own nails, she needs to go on a long and dangerous journey to find the much needed resources. So let's go out there and face the dangers of Louisville again. I have to thank you guys for recommending blacksmithing. It's not gonna be easy to make it work, but strong woman is gonna make it work. Now the mission I'm on is not just for blacksmithing. My goal is also to find any and all propane tanks that I can. Even though we're starting with blacksmithing now, I have not given up on metal working. And garages could be a great place to find those. Plus searching houses give me a chance to find some food. Even though the chance to actually find anything is pretty low. Searching throughout the whole neighborhood can be a very slow process, especially when you have to fight 50 zombies for every house. But sometimes it's all worth it when you find real treasure, like this fresh hot dog and a box of nails. While I didn't find anything for blacksmithing, I actually found a ton of food, most importantly two sticks of butter that are really gonna help me get my weight back up. I also found two boxes of nails and managed to level up my electrical to 3 by dismantling watches. That level 3 is actually very important because now I'll be able to uninstall, move and reinstall electrical ovens. If I were to go and find a blacksmithing magazine, my best bet would be a big college library. Unlucky for me, there's one not too far away. But unlucky for strong woman, there are still a lot of zombies around, as it seems a lot of students were writing their research papers in the time of apocalypse. They would never be able to catch me like that, because I spent my time playing World of Warcraft instead of actually studying. And that's how it becomes a professional youtuber kids but no really stay in school or the zombies will get you now i really wish i brought a katana but it seems like somebody had brought fire while i really did not wish the library to burn this could be a useful way to deal with the hordes as long as i can keep them away from the actual library i took one horde around the corner but there's still another group dangerously close to the library we cannot have that next time i want to chug a pie bomb at some zombies please remind me that i'm stupid now let's try to sneak into the library Sneaking has clearly failed, so let's fight. And now we're in. And so is a lot of zombies. That's our first smithing magazine. This place is big enough for me to find all the books I need. At least I hope so. Just as long as I can keep the zombies at bay. Not even these zombies could prevent me from finding what I needed. I found all five smithing books and a bunch of magazines. And one of those magazines is gonna teach me how to make nails. In addition, I have also finally found that tailoring level 4 book. The one that that I've been searching for for weeks. A lot of zombies had to die for it, but strong woman can now learn the ways of the blacksmith. All the smithing magazines that I had have been now read. I now know how to make stone furnace, anvil, and metal drum. First order of business, we're gonna need some stone. But before that, Let's read. Another long and dangerous trip ahead. Her first stop, the mansions. Because there's still a couple of precious propane tanks to be found here, so let's grab them. But that's just one part of her journey. The other part is getting to the entrance of Louisville. And that's where the real treasure awaits. But it's also a very dangerous place, so from here on out I'll be on foot. Because the alarms are calling the whole hospital out of the whole hospital. Now there are two treasures that interest me here. Of course more propane tanks and more importantly an empty metal drum. This bad boy is gonna allow me to make charcoal and I need plenty of charcoal for my new blacksmithing skill. There are multiple drums over here. I'll rather grab more propane tanks and I can come back for the rest of the drums if I need them later. And that's the last one we're grabbing. Now let's try to get back home hopefully in one piece because the alarms have messed up this place pretty bad. Now let's just hope the car starts it started let's go that was a long and dangerous road but as always strong woman made it back home in one piece not only that she brought back home six full propane tanks and of course that metal drum which i was thinking of placing just outside the police station and then turning this burned down room into my smithy but there are two things we need first walls and finding stones via forging to be able to build the forge and that's how it begins now while nighttime isn't really the best for searching for stones it can be pretty decent for leveling up metal working but as the morning dawns i can begin the search once again even though the weather isn't the best for it it isn't likely to get better anytime soon and the locals seem to be less than enthusiastic with my search but that's something strong woman is already very much used to and while it might take longer for her to find the stones she doesn't mind 
find the extra fight. But in the darkness, there are also stones and more stones. And if she has to kill a small horde of zombies for every stone, then so be it. But unfortunately, the hordes are many and the stones are few and far between. Even on the roads one could consider cleared, there are definitely more zombies than there are stones. But one stone at a time and one zombie at a time, it slowly leads up to forging level 5 and enough stone for the furnace. So let's go build it. Now in here, we should be able to smelt metallic items into iron, items like scrap metal. But for that, we need charcoal. And charcoal we should be able to get from this drum. Add logs and light it up. So while we wait for that, let's clean up this place. And looks like we already got charcoal. Two stacks of it in fact. So let's make some more and continue building the room. And let's light up the stone furnace to try this out. And heat is slowly starting to rise. It seems like over the night the heat did not exceed 20%. And that actually was enough to turn all of those items into workable iron. And that is enough to be able to make an anvil, which I'm gonna put right down here. So now I could actually make nails if I had smithing level 3. But first thing I'm gonna make is smithing tongs that we're gonna need for other items. It seems like the only item I can make at level 0 is iron ingots. So next I'm gonna need more metal items to smelt, which goes hand in hand with my desire to level up metalworking. And boom, that is level 3. And Louisville is a big place. There is plenty to disassemble, as long as we have propane. And for the first time in a long time, we're starting to see green again. It is March and it's raining. Strong woman has survived the winter and got her metal working to level 4. But did she really survive the winter though? Because the snow is back. From all that metal working, she's got a ton of stuff to smelt. So let's get back to it. And while we wait for that, let's create our first metal wall and a second one as well. Now that is starting to look very cozy. And while the metal cooks, I'm gonna read the new metal working book. And let's see what we got out of that 13 workable iron. That is pretty good. And there we go, level 1 smithing. Now we have learned the ways of the fork and of the spoon. But it seems like making iron ingots is still the same XP as the spoons and forks. So we're not gonna make those, we're gonna continue making these. We are halfway to level 2 though. And you have a broken fork, broken spoon and 54 iron ingots that are now gonna get melted again. Because I totally forgot to turn the furnace off. And while we wait for that to melt, let's take out some nearby zombies. Because the streets around are always full. And these zombies then love to go and try to break into my police station. Of course we can't allow that. And look at that, it already melted. 11 workable iron. But before we went to smithing, I wanted to try something else. That is, build the stairs to the roof. The reason for that is, now that we have rain coming in again, I was thinking maybe we could start farming up here and gathering some water. Turn a strong woman into a farmer. But once again, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's make sure that this place is secure. But for that, we need walls. And for walls, we need metal sheets. And for metal sheets, we need metal working. Or smithing level 4, but we are far away from that for now. Alas, every place is still infested. So strong woman has to fight for every sheet. And let's just say that the conditions are not very favorable. So every metal sheet is that much more valuable. Even if it's small one. Would have thought that hunting down things to disassembling burned down buildings would be dangerous. But trust me, it is quite so. But luckily, not everything burned. And there's still good stuff to be found. And I was able to find enough metal sheets to be able to finish off the walls of this place. We now have 24 workable iron. Let's see what we can do with that. We got smithing level 2 now, which means now we can work on a lot of new things. But before we do that, we're gonna melt the 65 iron ingots we have. And while the iron cooks, I'm gonna read the next smithing book and then continue to clean this place up. Thank you guys for recommendation that I can use a shovel to clear out the ashes. I have the best subscribers. And if you want to be a subscriber as well, well, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button and join the community. So after making a couple of different things, I noticed that each of these things give pretty much the same XP as the iron ingots we've been making before. And most of them cost more workable iron. So I think I'm gonna go back to crafting these. So I got roughly a half of a level of smithing and all of these are slowly melting still. And after hours of working and melting and working and melting, we are level 3 smithing now, which means that at this point we can start making small metal sheets and then turn them into big ones and while that didn't give us that much xp it gave us a lot of metal sheets and we need those metal sheets to be able to build outside walls and also level up our metal working. Of course making small metal sheets means we cannot remeld them, but that's okay because getting nails in those metal sheets was my goal in the first place. Thank you for watching.